Welcome to Fit for Life. I have got a good show for you today. It's called Getting to the Core. Where is our core? We call it the core anyway, don't we? It's right here in the middle. Many reasons why we should be strengthening and doing all the other things we do to keep it healthy and strong. Core muscles are your abdomen. The abdomen is below the waist. Your obliques are on the side. Your rectus abdominis come all the way down the center. Uh, your lumbar area is your lower back, which I think most of you know. And it also involves your lower diaphragm, among many others. Why do we need a strong core? We're going to strengthen that and tighten that today. They support our trunk. They allow movement for the body. They hold your organs in place, which I find kind of interesting and funny. Uh, and they protect your spine. So keep that in mind. So many of us have back problems. And when you have a weak core, that contributes to almost any type of back problem you might have. Uh, strong core um, helps with your balance, which I would think would be a great reason to do it, even if it was just for that reason. And it helps maintain your posture. If your posture is poor, what happens? This area kind of pops out. Try it. Just bring yourself down and feel how all this pops out too. So we can get rid of that just by sitting up nice and straight, maybe tightening that area just a little bit. But first, I'd like to warm up the upper body just a little bit. So let's come forward in the chair. I'm going to bring those arms up. Move your feet forward a little bit. Let's put our hands right here on our knees and slide down your leg, the front part of your lower leg. Good. Let's come back up. This time, let's take a breath as we lift those arms up. And exhale down. Put your hands on your knees and slide down, slide down. Good. How does that feel? Can anyone grab their ankles? Some of you might be able to, or even your calf muscle. And if you can't, that's okay. You're still getting a good exercise. So let's come back up. Wonderful. Grab those elbows. Let's do a little stretch for the upper back. Nice and easy. I'm going to bring my feet in a little bit. So we're not turning the body. Now we're stretching upper back and shoulders and your waist a little bit, the hip area a little bit. So we're trying to just warm those muscles up. Very simple exercises. And I can't give you all of them because there are so many different ways to loosen up a little bit, warm up those muscles. Hands right here on your shoulders. Let's do some nice big circles. When I do that, I can hear a little noise in my upper back. It doesn't hurt. I'm going to find out what that is. Nice big circles with your elbows. Let's go the other way. I'm not really counting right now. We just want to get this done. Let's say um, just a few more around okay now arms straight out palms down and let's very gently pull back one and two and three good and four and five and six how does that feel you're bringing those shoulder blades together so your back can't help it but to straighten up good wonderful oops there goes my water. It's always there with me. Put it right back there. All right. Let's try this. Cross those arms and grab your shoulders and just pull yourself forward. How does that feel? Now bring yourself right back up. Clasp your hands together. Let's lift those arms and very gently push back. One and two and three. Now you're tightening your abdomen just a little bit, even if you didn't notice it. So this is good. It's a good starter, isn't it? Now, another great upper body stretch is just to clasp your hands together. Turn those hands facing my hands. Breathe out as you don't move forward. Now, just stretch those arms out. Try to get the elbows straightened out as straight as you can. Lifting up. Let's do a couple more back. Good. One more. Great. Now let's do a spinal rotation. Let's sit back just a little bit. We're going to take this arm, and you're watching me, so we're all doing that arm. I'm not saying right or left. We're going to just swing that around and pull yourself up nice and straight. So remember, posture is very important for a good abdomen. Very important for posture. 
Try the other side. Just bring that arm out, cross it over, hold on to the chair, pull those shoulders down and pull that chin in. Even if you just pull the chin in, it makes a big difference. So we'll keep that in mind. Well, I think we've done enough warm-ups. Let's, let's get down to business. Uh, what I would like you to do is slide forward. Good, now you can hold on this way, or this way, or this way, whatever you want to do. But I'd like you to try to lift up both feet. Now, if you're sitting up straight, it'll be much more difficult. So let's slide down again. You're kind of leaning back on an angle. Lift those feet up and do that bicycle that we've been doing forever. This can be done more easily if you're lying down and doing your morning exercises. And I know it's not comfortable. Just do what you can to the point where you can't do anymore and that will tighten. Um, just lift one knee up and hold it there. All right, and we'll put it down. Lift the other knee up. That too tightens this area and strengthens your lower back or the lumbar area. Good. All right. Now we're going to give you another one that really works. Um, a lot of people do it with yoga. They do, or they do it on the floor. So let's again come to the edge of the chair. Please don't fall off. And just clasp your hands together as far forward as you can without feeling uncomfortable. And all you're going to do is very slowly keep your feet flat and you can breathe out and very slowly go back to the point where you can feel your back on the back of the chair. Oh boy, I'm really forward. I can, I can feel that. Now let's sit up again. I'm going to move back about an inch. Let's take a breath first up through the nose. And when you exhale, slowly. I know you can feel this tighten. And as far back as you can go, and I reach the chair a little bit sooner this time. All right, let's do another one now. Relax the arms just for a minute. Drop that chin right down, good. And we'll bring the head up. Let's try another one. Clasp those hands together. Breathe out first. Breathe in first. Up, up through the nose, out through the mouth. Slowly, slowly. You're doing great. This is our third one. Let's hope it takes effect. But as, as you know, we have to do things more than once, don't we? So just thought you might like that. All right, now I'm going to come back a little bit. Holding onto the arms of the chair, lift both knees up and just stay there. Or to make it a little bit easier, you can do that. Kind of relieves the pressure just a little bit. Good. I can do a lot of these today. Not always. All right, we'll put those feet down. Good. All right. Hands right here on your knees. Just pull yourself up nice and straight. Pull those shoulders down. Oh, that feels so good. We're going to look up at that ceiling. Great. Now let your chin drop down. We're doing the yoga cat, aren't we? And you're pulling the abdomen in or just tightening it a little bit. Don't overdo it. You're not used to doing this. Drop that chin down. Lift those shoulders. And I am holding this in. So for now, at least, it's a little bit flatter, isn't it? And then pull yourself right back up again. All right. Try this with me. Arms out to the side. Very gently push back. One, two. And while you're doing this, whether you know it or not, pay attention to it. You're going to feel your abdomen tightening. Just doing this. It just kind of happens. It's like preparing the body for movement, right? All right, you're going to put one foot out to the side. Take this arm and see if you can just lean forward. Just doing a little stretch now. Good. Come back up. Bring your feet together. The other foot out to the side. All right. And you're just going to drop the arm down. This arm is up and back if you can do it. Just to get a little stretch in here. And you're going to come back up. Wonderful. Okay, now you're going to just lift that leg up and hold it there as long as you can. Bring those arms up. That makes it a little more difficult. And then we'll come back down again. You're still holding that leg up. Good. 
the other side. Lift the leg up. Let's lift the arms up too. Good. I know you can feel that. So you're strengthening and toning your quadriceps too, as well as tightening the abdomen just a little bit. And then we'll come back down again. Wonderful. All right. Now what I'd like to do is a little stretching. So we're going to sit wherever is comfortable, whether it's forward or back. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that your shoulders aren't all hunched up and your neck isn't forward like this. I'd like you to just pull that chin in. Great. And as I did that, I did tighten the abdomen a little bit. As long as you can hold it while we're doing these exercises. So we're going to do some neck stretching. You're going to just drop the head back a little bit, looking up at the ceiling. You're going to push the chin forward, and then let the chin just relax. Try it again. Push the chin forward, stretching all of this. Stretching is good for any type of exercise that we do, but today we're concentrating on the core. Drop the chin right down. Feel a great stretch on the back of your neck. Bring your head up. And we're going to turn the head just a little bit to the side or as much as you can without discomfort. And then to the other side. Are you tightening your abdomen while you're doing this? Maybe I shouldn't say tighten. I don't want you to you tighten to the point where it's terribly uncomfortable. But just enough to hold it in. And, Get used to holding that in. We want to strengthen those muscles so that might, might happen automatically. So let's do a little ear drop side to side. Good. Nice and easy. And then to the other side. I like this one. Right, now stay here. Drop your chin down and over to the other side. Good. Drop the chin down and over to the other side. How does that feel today? Drop the chin down. If you had a good night's sleep, sometimes we sleep in one position for a very long time and we really feel it the next day, don't we? So these are really good stretches. Drop that chin right down and to the other side. Oh, that does feel good. Uh, we have a spine. And as, as I mentioned before, the spine is also involved in your core. So here's what we're going to do first. Come forward, as I said, open those feet. You can keep your head up as much as possible. Just drop forward. Now, we've done all these before many times. I'm sure you're familiar with them. It doesn't mean that we just do them that one time, does it? These are wonderful stretches for the spine. And then we come back up, clasp those hands together. Very gently push back a few times. Good. Now, while we're doing this, try to remember Let's stop just for a few seconds here. Pull those shoulders down. Feel the difference? Then this, you're going to pull those shoulders down. Wonderful. All right. Let's do a spinal rotation again. Take this arm. Let's take a breath in first. And when we exhale, you're going to just bring that arm across. Hold on to the arm of the chair and pull yourself up. And do you feel this in your abdomen too? I hope you do. And then we come back. All right, try the other side. Let's breathe up through the nose. And when you exhale, just bring that arm around. Hold on to the arm of the chair. Pull yourself a little bit further to the side. Sitting up nice and straight. And pull that chin in. Good. And then we'll come back. Now what I'd like to do, again, is the cat. Because I think this is the best for our posture. And it also tightens this up a little bit. Just happens naturally. So you're going to breathe up through the nose, hands on your knees, shoulders down. Hold for two seconds. We're doing the yoga breath again. Breathe out. Now as you breathe out, tighten. Drop that chin down. Lift your shoulders up. Round your back. And I think this is great for the core. And then just relax. Don't worry about the breathing or holding your core tightly. Just relaxing for a few minutes. Let's circle those hands a little bit. And then to the other side. Good. Now remember I said posture was important for the abdomen. You don't want to be here all the time because this really accentuates this popping, right? 
So let's do the Y. The Y. And very gently and slowly bring those arms as far back as you can. How does that feel? Ooh, really opens this up. I can feel that. All right, let's bring the palms together. Let's try it again. Breathe out as you... Sometimes we breathe up and out, but we're just breathing out with these now. Wonderful. So this is for posture. You can feel it. Bring those arms down just to relax a little bit. And let's do the letter T next. Shoulders up and down a few times. Arms out to the side. You're a letter T. Palms facing the back. I like this one. So this is fairly easy, but I want you to bring those arms back and very gently, one and two. You can feel the shoulder blades coming together. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, and just bring your arms down. Let's relax the neck by just dropping that chin forward, good. Oh, I can feel that all the way down the spine. And then you're going to bring your head back up, up, and up. Okay, one arm up, grab the wrist, and pull it up, up, and up. Wonderful. Let's switch. And then bring that arm up as high as you can. Good. And then we'll bring the arms down and relax. Let's grab some water. Yes, you can drink during exercise, before, during, after, as long as we get that, uh, that water into us. It's cleansing, it's good for everything. Dissolves all your medications too. Although I've heard of people that don't take any water at all when they take their medications. They take three, four, five, six pills and I just hope it never gets stuck there. So water is good for many, many things. But what I'd like to do um, is a little bit of a review, you know, just to maybe help your, your mind, help you to remember what to do. But if you could just even remember this one, coming forward in the chair, feet apart just a little bit, clasp your hands together, and just breathe out as you go back slowly. Oh, yeah. I can feel, oh, yeah, I can feel that. Because sometimes we forget. So as I said, get a little pad of paper, uh, with a pen or a pencil and mark things down just so that you can remember or oh, I suppose you could watch your show again too all right let's come back sit right up straight good now lift those arms again good and breathe out as you go back slowly great so this one you should remember I think it's the first one we did we're really tightening now and then of course I, want, I do want you to relax don't try to hold it for five minutes okay Let's try it again. Arms out straight. We're going to breathe out. Feet are flat. You're tightening just a little bit. And now you can bring the arms down. I'm going to come forward again. You might not be uh, forward enough. And I want to make sure you get all the distance you can get here. Breathing out. Breathing out. Going back. Oh, we're going to, this is going to be nice and flat when we get finished today, right? Oh, yes. Ah, feels great. Let's relax. Move those legs forward a little bit. Come forward again. And then we're going to get back up again. Just for the heck of it, take this arm, cross it over outside of your thigh or your quadricep area. Bring the opposite arm up. Get a nice stretch and come forward. Bring that arm up. Let's come back. Switch over, bring the arm up, and come forward. Drop that ear down. Think of the ear to the floor or to your knees. Try to get that arm as straight up as you can. And I know it's not so easy. Good. And we'll come back up. But you know, if you really don't feel like exercising a lot and, and you want to tighten this area while you're sitting, and that's what we do when we watch television, um, just lift your leg up and hold it. That will kind of automatically tighten that area. Just lift the leg up. We'll put the foot down. Lift it up again. Lift it up for as long as you can do it. Good. And then holding on, I'd like you to lift both knees up and hold it. I know that one's a little bit tougher, isn't it? 
and then put them down. I'm going to try this one again. Let's slide forward. Great. Lift those feet up a little bit and do the bicycle. So we did all of these when we started. So you don't need to do a hundred different things, but you might see one in a book, an exercise for the abdomen. So make sure you read it. I find Real Simple is a great magazine and, and they have a lot of exercises for seniors and all ages, really. So just keep that in mind. Let's do a, a little stretch for the hips. Cross that leg over. Look at my posture. Pull up nice and straight. See the difference? Nice and tight here. Great. Very gently push down. Good. Am I giving you too much today? Let's try the other side. Lift up. Pull yourself up. This hip is a little bit stiffer than the other, so I'm going to really try to get that leg down a little bit. While we're doing that, again, this is tightening up. Great. Another good exercise, and it's quite simple, and we didn't do this one at all. Just lift up and cross over. Hold that leg up and then out to the side a little bit. We do this standing sometimes. Lift up, cross over, lift up and to the side. And the longer you stay up, the better the exercise. So you're strengthening, toning, yeah. Up and over, up. Oh, I can really feel that one. I should have had that on my list. And up and over. Can you do it twice more? Yes, you can. And up, and we'll do one more. Do the best you can. At least it's better than doing nothing, right? And over. Wow, that's a good one. Let's do this. But of course, we have to do the other side too, don't we? But this feels good, like everything's kind of loose now and stretched out. So let's try the other leg. Up and over. Hold it. We'll hold it a little bit longer this time. And out to the side. And up and over and up. I'm getting a good workout too, aren't I? Almost anything is better than sitting or doing nothing or sleeping. Yes, we need to sleep, but not all day, right? I hope you're walking. The weather is getting warmer. Very important to walk. It's also good for our brain. We're getting the blood up to our brain. Good. Let's do another one more. Up and over and relax. Grab some water, everyone. Yeah. Cheers. Wonderful. All right. Now we're going to end with our Grecian stretch. You know I love that. It's an all-over body stretch. And while we're doing it, just pay attention to how this feels, and you'll see you're, you are tightening even when you're doing this exercise. So even if you're not conscious of it, it's happening. So I'm going to come forward and just turn on an angle. All right. Legs are parallel. We don't have one leg over here, because that wouldn't be really great for the spine and your hip. And then we're just going to put this leg back. All right. It's kind of a lunge. We do a lot of lunging with yoga, too, don't we? Just reach down and lift that leg up and pull back. And watch that posture again. Very important. Holding on, holding on. Good. Can you let go and reach forward and pull back? So that's like stretching your upper body out away or out of your lower body and vice versa. It's a great stretch. So think of reaching, reaching. Good and pulling back a little bit. So you're kind of forward for this exercise too, so just be careful. And then very slowly let that leg come down. But now we want to stretch the back of the leg, so that's how we do it. Just put that foot out, sitting up nice and straight again. You're going to come forward just a little bit. Yes! Can you feel this in back of your knee maybe? I can, that's where I feel it and in the hamstring also. So come forward, straight back though. Now sit back up, and this time you can round your back. See how far down you can get that hand, all right? Maybe the knee, or maybe the shin, 
or maybe the ankle. Now, if you do it a couple of times, you'll be able to touch your toe, and so will I. So we'll come back up. Let's try it with the breath. Breathing up and exhaling and pulling that abdomen in as we do when we do the yoga breathing. See if you can touch that toe. It doesn't matter whether you touch your toe or not. You're still stretching and you're still getting an exercise. And if you do it enough, it's not going to take long to be able to touch that toe. Now while we're down here, and we don't usually do this with this exercise, I'm going to have you lift your knee up. Just pull that right in. Oh yeah. Ooh, I can breathe better when I do that. I love this one. But we have one more side, so we better get going. So we're going to turn to the other side. It's just kind of a turn on an angle. Foot goes back. If you can, if you cannot, you can maybe lift your pant leg, because if you're wearing something stretchy, which you really should be when you're exercising, lifting up and pulling back the other side, you're reaching forward and pulling back at the same time. Wonderful. Pull that chin and that will help straighten you right up. If you do nothing else but pull that chin in, you'll be doing a lot for your posture. Wonderful. Very slowly. And then we'll switch. Keeping that back straight. I'm going to put both hands here and just come forward. You won't be able to come too far forward, but do the best you can. Ah, can you feel it? And now let's slide that hand down. And if you do this with the breath, it's a little bit easier. I'm going to come back up. Let's slide down one more time. You can point or you can touch your ankle or whatever you want to do here, but let's come back up. And I want to thank you for trying all these exercises with me because you know they're good for you. Uh, any questions about that, please ask your doctor. Say I'm doing something new. Is this going to hurt me? Uh, you're all intelligent. You all know that. So um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye.